Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to um, kind of create um, a video diary for myself and um, anyone that wants to join with me, um, everyone's welcome to follow along, to subscribe, to watch, to listen, to share. Um, basically I wanted to do this for a few reasons, um, doing these videos. Um, one is for a way for me to reflect back on this time in my life. Um, there's been a lot going on and um, I've been through a lot and I know that I'm going to be going through a lot and I don't ever want to forget this time in my life and I don't ever want to take this time in my life for granted. Um, and then I also wanted to be able to share my story with you guys and shed any insight um, into everything that goes into um, what I'm up against. And basically that is um, that my insurance has approved me for gastric bypass. And so... Um, I haven't, I don't have my surgery date set yet. Um, I'm still pre-op. Um, uh, however, the date could be very soon. Any, um, any day now I could get a call from my surgeon's office to schedule the date for my surgery. So basically, um, I just wanted to do like an introductory video, kind of give you a little bit of a, a background about me and how I got to this point and... Um, you know, what I've been through basically so far with my insurance and what to expect if you're in the process yourself or if you're thinking about the process or if you have any questions, definitely comment below and ask any questions. I know all providers are different. All, um, employee, uh, writers or company writers are different. So it's going to be very varied, um, depending on who you work for and your insurance. However, I'll answer any questions to the best of my ability. Um, so basically, um, I am 31. I'll be 32 this year. And um, I have struggled with my weight my whole life, pretty much as far as I can remember. I remember being large, heavy set, overweight, chubby. As far back as like seven years old, six kindergarten, six, seven years old. Um, it wasn't until probably my late teens, early 20s that I progressed from overweight to obese and eventually morbidly obese. And um, there's been some yo yo, some up and downs throughout the year, um, throughout the years. But Pretty much, I've been at this weight um, for the last, I'd say, 16 months, a little over a year, and I have not been able to successfully lose at all. Um, I first decided to, um, I actually wanted to do the, I actually wanted to do gastric bypass when I was 17. That's when I first found out about it. I did a lot of research and wanted to do it and then I also um, was interested in lap band when that came out I remember that came out commercially um, but it's just never been the right time I've never been financially stable or had insurance um, so it's been one of those things where it just has never been the right time in fact um, in the spring of last year, I um, was going to go to Mexico to get a gastrectomy, uh, a vertical sleeve procedure done. Um, I did not have family backing on that at all. I did not have anyone that would um, be willing to accompany me to Mexico. They pretty much um, shut me down on all of that. And there was no way I was going to go to Mexico by myself to have a major operation so I um, decided not to do that and I actually used to have a YouTube channel on that 
and then I stopped making videos and um, just kind of gave up on that. But um, I've had insurance through my employer. I have a great employer. I have a great job. Um, I've been with this company for um, going on over four, it's been over four years and I have great insurance, but I was always under the impression that it did not cover any weight loss surgery whatsoever. And so I just never even checked and that's silly, stupid me, you know, I, if, shame on me for not being informed and not informing myself. Um, and so just any literature I'd ever read, I just, it always, the verbiage always sounded to me that it was not approved and it was next to impossible to find anything online. And I find that a lot of insurance companies will be that way. They will word things a certain way or they will hide, not really hide, but they will hide certain truths from, you know, um, their uh, recipients because they don't necessarily want to shell out 40 you know, thirty to forty thousand dollars, depending on where you are in your hospital, um, for these surgeries. So, it's definitely something that you have to go out and you have to be your own advocate about. And I learned that the hard way, and I'll get to that in a minute. So after um, after the whole situation last year with me not going to Mexico, I decided to go ahead and call my insurance company and just find out once and for all. And I don't even know if it was like the fear or the rejection of hearing no or just. I don't know why it took me so long to finally call them, but I called them and they said yes, it was covered, and that the only requirements was that I were uh, was um, or that I was over 21, and obviously, and um, my BMI over 40, and I said that's it, that's it. Are you serious? And that was it. And so ecstatic, I got off the phone. I immediately um, called my dad and then um, called my boyfriend and then called the surgeon in the area and set up an appointment. Um, upon doing that, the office coordinator informed me that, no, you have to do a six month weight loss trial and you also have to have five years of um, morbid obesity documentation with a doctor's office. Um, so that was kind of like a burst bubble because even though I've had this insurance and I've been insured at my last job, I just never really went to the doctor, maybe gynecologist visit here and there. But other than that, I just never really went. So it was very difficult for me to get five years. In fact, I wasn't able to get five years. I was only able to get sporadically um, intermittent like maybe three years and um, so anyway I ended up doing the six month weight loss trial and went every month once a month they weighed me in I didn't really lose a lot of weight with that and simply because and not to sound eh, I don't know it's just I felt like it was information that was very well known like you know avoid starchy pastas and potatoes and breads and um you know no cut back on sugar and fried foods drink more water try to walk 30 minutes three times a week and you know it was things like that that I feel like is kind of common sense sort of thing like oh why didn't I think of that you know and not not to be sarcastic and rude but um you know you get the idea it's it's things that had those things have worked for me I probably wouldn't be in this position to begin with so whatever, I did that every month for six months and um, got as many years and records as I could. And that everything, I, start, I started all of this um, August of 2013. It's now May of 2014. So um, it's been a long journey nonetheless. So uh, I finished up with my uh, nutrition appointments. This January was my last visit. And um, so the uh, surgeon's coordinator called me and said, you know, I just, I don't think you're going to be approved. I don't think you're going to be approved. You don't have all five years, you know, in order for me to send off all your information, I would just like for you to sign this waiver stating that I'm well aware that I'll probably be denied. However, I'm sending the information off. So I faxed her the information along with this 
where it states obesity surgery and what is covered and I quote the medical plan covers surgical treatment of obesity provided by or under the direction of a physician when all the following are true you have a minimum body mass index of 40 or or you have documentation from a physician of a diagnosis of morbid obesity for a minimum of five years and you're over the age of 21 that either or does not mean you have to have it okay so that little word or is that right there tells me everything so anyway she finally faxed everything out like uh, two weeks ago and not even no it was last Wednesday and then Monday I got a phone call so three days later basically I have a feeling that my insurance got it like the next day and I was approved so anyway Getting that letter in the mail stating that it was authorized, getting that phone call in stating it was authorized was all I needed to know. All I needed to just, you know, send me into shock and awe and happiness and elation. And But now everything's starting to set in that this is really going to happen. So I'm mentally preparing myself um, and as well as physically preparing myself. So, yeah, um, that's about all there is to that. Um, you know, it's just, like I said, it's been a long journey. And um, I know that my life is going to change drastically, dramatically, and in so many more ways than just physically. Um, not just an external change, but a lot of internal changes as well. I've always had um, bouts of depression. I've always had, um, severe social anxiety. Those that know me know that I battle with anxiety and going out in public places, which is funny because my job and my career is very social. I talk to people all day. Um, I interact with people all day. So it's kind of funny on that aspect. So anyway, yeah. Um, I'm just excited, you know, I'm super excited. I'm ready to get this underway and I just hope that everything kind of falls in line and I hope to have the surgery within the next month or two. I don't want to put it off any longer. Um, so yeah, anyway. So uh, if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, um, Feel free to ask me below. Um, subscribe if you guys are interested in following me on my journey. I'd love for you guys to come along. Um, those of you that have found me through here that used to follow me on the Sleeve for Me channel when I was looking to get into the um, into Mexico for the gastrectomy. I mean, you're more than welcome to follow me on this. This is absolutely happening. Um, so, you guys, I just would really love it for y'all to come along so anyway I'm gonna cut this off now because it's getting really long and an introduction video shouldn't be this long however I talk a lot and this is a form of therapy for me so anyway thanks for listening thanks for watching um, subscribe and I'll see you guys later